Shit in, shit out. Oops. Hi, chicken gang. Why does the world want Tesla to fail? The fear, the uncertainty, and the doubt is at its all time high. There was two incidents that's going viral last week. Every mother donkey out there forwarding messages inside their group chats on the fatal Tesla crash in Texas believed to be driverless. If your source of news is from forwarded news messages, remember, shit in, shit out. Do your own due diligence for your own sake. 99% sure no one at the wheel and it took emergency responders f up to 4 hours and roughly 32,000 gallons of water to put out the fire. Here are the facts. Data logs recovered so far shows autopilot was not enabled and this car did not purchase full self-driving. Moreover, the standard autopilot would require lane lines to turn on. Number two, from the fire chief himself, the rumors grew way out of control. It did not take us four hours to put out the blaze. Our guys got there and put down the fire in two to three minutes. We did not call Tesla. I do not know where that rumor came from. This accident will still be investigated like all Tesla accidents and we know the final conclusions. Another fun news from China. This is all over Chinese media. 150 million views. My God, a female dog Tesla owner climbed on top of a car's roof in the Tesla booth to protest her car's brake malfunction in the Shanghai Auto Show on Monday. So these are the facts from Tesla China Vice President of Business Development, Grace Tao. The customer did not accept vehicle inspections and insist on high compensation. And she added, I think there's no way for us to compromise. She also suggested that she may have been hired to carry out the stunt. Her actions have been very professional. There might be people behind her. And true enough, the truth came out just before I recorded this video. She has been identified as a representative of Neil's glass supplier, a stunt carried out on the day for media only. The Singapore news media picked it up. Journalism at its best. Remember, shit in, shit out. Majority of journalisms are driven by clicks, views, and sentience, and excuse me, chocolate cake in my mouth. Majority of journalisms are driven by clicks, views, and sensationalized headings. Else, nobody's going to care and just rather watch Netflix. I appreciate investigative journalism and it's really rare these days. You know, off topic, Johnny Harris, originally from Vox as a reporter, he is my favorite journalist. Do watch him investigate McDonald's ice cream machines and how big organizations are so corrupted. I'm a big fan of investigative journalism, quality work and good information. It's really rare. Any of you like Johnny Harris? A cheers man to a chocolate cake. So, why does the world want Tesla to fail? There is a real interest to do so. Everything leads to economics, and in the end, it comes down to money. You put a tax on carbon, carbon output will drop. You put a tax on alcohol, <coughs> consumption will drop. Tesla is threatening the livelihood of many people and is disrupting traditional industries. Do note that Tesla is not the apocalypse. As old industries fall, new ones will be created. And those who do not keep up and improve will fall. Tesla has over 80,000 employees and growing really very fast. And a special shout out to all of you Tesla employees. Cheers to another chocolate cake. In China, Tesla's lead is so far ahead, making everyone look like a donkey. Look, I want to be clear on competition. I welcome competition. Why? A smart CEO knows that competition is their weakness. In fact, if any of you are doing business, your competition is your weakness. If your business is certainly better, the competition wouldn't exist. The companies closest to Tesla is BYD and perhaps Volkswagen. The rest are really far. To scale EVs massively, you need to scale batteries. It's the core component of the car. Tesla is also making dealerships look stupid. 
In Singapore, the main distributor for Mercedes is Cycle and Carriage. The dealership fees are around $50,000. If you buy a Tesla in Singapore, you can save on dealership fees. $50,000 can buy you a lot, a lot of chocolate cake. Imagine the amount of dealerships disrupted and not being able to participate in the best selling, uh, selling the best EV in the world. The new world is about direct manufacturer to consumer. Let's also talk about the media and all the fake news. Media is funded by advertisers. Duh! So Tesla doesn't advertise because number one, they can't fulfill demand and number two, they want to pass the cost savings to customer. So Tesla's measure of success is by how fast the world transits to sustainable energy. If you are the media and always receive compensation from big auto dealerships and big interest groups while receiving nothing from Tesla, the incentive to write a negative bias is super strong. It's all about economics. Ford alone spent around $2 billion a year advertising. And this is my favorite, Consumer Reports. Consumer Reports who is allegedly unbiased, but is led by Ford Foundation. What kind of news you're going to get? You just Google Consumer Reports Tesla. Consumer Reports is not unbiased. Do not trust them. Consumer Reports was investigated and found guilty before. I'll link an old video of Suzuki versus Consumer Reports below. I hope you get my point and start to be smart about where your information comes from. Tesla feels like the early Amazon days. Remember how Amazon was being targeted? The whole list is here, targeted for anti-competitive practices, treatment of workers, the union came in, the tax avoidance, etc. Every angle you can think of, I present to you here. When you come in and disrupt a market, like every moment in human history, old donkeys are not going to take it lying down. Tesla is disrupting big auto energy dealerships, auto parts, because Tesla doesn't need servicing. Soon, public transport insurance, and the list goes on. The list here is a good reference. The financial incentive to take Tesla down will be high for many years to come. As Tesla investor, your job is to stay cool and focus on the fundamentals. You want to hear bad news when there really is. I will tell you else. As I said earlier, shit in, shit out. My God, I'm so full of all your chocolate cake. Wrapping up, I'm very comfortable holding, chilling, and just chilling my Tesla stock. I just can't see it any other way. I'm certain that Tesla will hit a four trillion market cap, and wow, the world remains stupid. I choose to be on the right side of change. Will you appreciate the thumbs up? Invest, save, and don't be a.